Hey guys, Sunny here from Dope Designs. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, bring your logo from Photoshop to Cinema 4D and make it 3D. So this is a beginner tutorial. It's very simple and the process is pretty quick. Once you once you do it once, you'll just be like, oh wow, it was really this easy. So yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, you want to have your Photoshop open. Once you have it open, you want to go File and then Open, or you could simply press Control O, and then and then you want to open up your logo. I'm I'm gonna be using the Mon Warfare 3 logo for this. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure that that your logo is tra is on a transparent background, so you just have your logo and the background should be uh, checkered like this. And then and so basically what that means is, is like if I was to make a new layer uh, make a black solid and then put it behind it you could still see the logo and it would come up like that meaning it's transparent so yeah once you have that what you want to do is you want to hold down control and you want to and you want to move your cursor over to the layers panel and then and then you want to you want to hover over your over your logo uh, layer and right here you'll see that the cursor changes to a pointer with a square once you have that just simply click and now you'll see it um, your logo is outlined like this so what you want to do next is you want to go to paths and you want to simply press this button right here I don't know what it's called but it's uh, it basically makes a work path so it's a fourth button starting from here so one two three four it's sort of like a circle with two ends coming off it and uh, and like two little small spheres um and then once you click that you should you should see your work path come up and and the dotted lines um now turn into solid lines so from this you want to go to file export paths to illustrator and then just simply save it wherever you want just name it you know uh, whatever logo path or uh, whatever you want and then simply open up your cinema 4d once you have that open uh you know you could set up your stage or uh, like your lighting everything your render settings you, you guys can do that all yourself and once you have that um you want to go file merge and once you have that open just give it a second you want to select a, a not your png file or of or or your logo uh, that's transparent but you want to select the path that we just made it should be a dot ai file which is Illustrator, and then just double click that and open it up. Now it's going to ask you for the scale. First of all, you want to have connect spines, and the other one's going to be kind of faded out, so don't worry about that. But yeah, you want to have that ticked, and you want to have this on centimeters. And and I'd say make the scale just one, but if you make it one, then it seems too small. Uh, you could always zoom in on the camera, or what you could do is basically just delete that, and then click merge, open it, and make the scale too. But if you scale it too much, the quality will go down, so I'm just going to leave it one for this. And now... And now right here in the top right corner, I'm just going to zoom out and zoom out some more. And as you can see, it's right there. And I didn't have my, I didn't have my stage set up right here or, or my lighting set up. So I'm just going to do this and quickly set it up like as so. So, so as you can see there, we have the Mon Warfare 3 logo. Uh, but at the side here, you'll just see, it just says your file name, Mon Warfare 3 logo path 2 for me. So you want to come here and you want to click the plus sign. This will bring down path 1, 2, 3, depending on how many paths you have. Yours could just have 1 or it could have 10, depending on how complex your logo is. So what you want to do now is you want to come over to this to this green slash tealish color square and it has like another square outlining it with black lines so you want to hold down your mouse on that and you should have these six options that come up so right here you want to select extrude nerves right here just select it, it uh, uh, again it's just like uh, right here one two three four it's a fourth one right there in case you guys can't see you should be able to um so what you want to do now is you want to press Control C, which is to copy on on your extrude nerves. Make sure you have it selected. Press Control C, which is to copy, and then you want to paste this four times. So to so to do that, you want to hold down Control and press V four times. So so as you can see now we have five. Since I have five paths, I want I want to press it four times. If you have one path, you only want one extrude nerve. If you have ten, you obviously want ten. So what you want to do now is you wanna you wanna come over here, you wanna select the first path and you wanna drag it under extrude nerves. And, and as you can see, the arrow is changing. It's like a white box and you and you want the arrow to be pointing down towards the white box like that. And once you do that, as you can see it becomes a solid. 
which is making it 3D. And just do that for the rest of the layers, just as so. So this is very easy. It's not hard at all. And once you have that, just basically hold down Shift and and just uh, just select the first one and then hold down shift and click the last extrude nerve so it'll select them all and then basically uh just it just drag your mouse and again put it back into the mon warfare 3 logo path or whatever you have make sure the arrow is pointing down and this way it'll be nice and organized for you too so as you can see it's right there and then if you click it here you have all the different sections so if you have a lot of sections like I do and you want to make it all 3d you obviously want it to be all all the exact same width and height and all that but except except you don't want to you don't want to click on every single one you know and adjust it so what you want to do is just hold down control select all the parts you actually don't need shift I don't know why I said that but yeah once you have all of them selected right here you'll see it'll say extrude nerve object five elements or or if you have if you have more than five parts it'll say however many elements but just make sure it, you're on extrude object or or you won't have these settings right here and basically it just set this last uh, 20 centimeters under movement to a to however thick you want it so I'm gonna show you guys I'll just show you the top view and see the thicker I make this a eh, the more the more uh, it'll pop out so the more 3d it'll be so so yeah just to show you guys I'll just make it solid 100 and then and we're gonna add some caps to it which will basically add a little bevel right here so we're just gonna go caps fill it cap uh, cap fill it cap and I'm gonna bring this down to about three um, I, I'd say I'd say that looks pretty good but obviously if we just go quickly render it out you know it doesn't look that nice so you obviously want to add some color and then and then depending on your light setup and stuff you want to add like global illumination and stuff but hopefully this helps you guys and you guys understand how to do this if you ha if you're confused about something or if I didn't explain something clearly just comment below and I'll tell you guys thanks for watching guys uh, if you have any tutorial requests leave them in the comments below Peace out, guys.